Good morning and welcome to uh, Tuesday the 8th of March morning prayer in this Lent season. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love, according to the judgment give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Hear the words of Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forebears have told us all that you did in their days in time of old. How with your hand you drove out nations and planted us in and broke the power of peoples and set us free. For not by their own sword did our ancestors take the land, nor did their own arm save them. But by your right hand, your arm and the light of your countenance, because you were gracious to them. You are my King and my God whom commanded salvation for, for Jacob. Through you, we drove back our adversaries. Through your name, we trod down our foes. For I did not trust in my bow. It was not my own sword that saved me. It was you that saved us from our enemies and put our adversaries to shame. We gloried in God all the day long and we're ever praising your name. But now you have rejected us and brought us to shame and go not out with our armies. You have made us turn our backs on our enemies and our enemies have despoiled us. You have made us like sheep to be slaughtered and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a pittance and made no profit on their sale. You have made us a taunt of our neighbours, the scorn and derision of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. Among the peoples they wag their heads. My confusion is daily before me. My shame has covered my face. At the taunts of the slanderer and re reveller, at the sight of the enemy and avenger. All this has come upon us, though we have not forgotten you and have not played false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, nor our steps gone out of our way. Yet you have crushed us in the haunt of the jackals, and covered us in the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to any strange God, will not God search it out? For he knows the secrets of other hearts. For your sake we are killed all day long, and are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Rise up, why sleep, O Lord? Awake, and do not reject us for ever. Why do you hide your face and forget our grief and oppression? Our soul is bowed down to the dust, and our belly claves to the earth. Rise up, O Lord, to help us, and redeem us in the sake of your steadfast love. Rise up, O Lord, to help us. In the darkness of unknowing, when your love seems absent, draw near to us, O God, in Christ forsaken, in Christ risen, our Redeemer and our Lord. O glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you have made the heaven and earth in all their glory. All things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful. 
and you relent at human suffering. O oh God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I, have, I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O oh God, I have sinned and acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For the host of heavens sings your praise and your glory is forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning and shall be forever. Amen. For the compassion and mercy and love is God, the Most High, the Almighty. Our reading is taken for Galatians uh, chapter 4, verses 8 to 20. <clears throat> Formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to beings that were by nature are not gods. Now, however, that you have come back to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back again to the weak and beggarly elemental spirits? How can you want to be enslaved to them again? You are observing special days and months and seasons and years. I'm afraid that my work for you may have been wasted. Friends, I beg you, become as I am, for I am also have become as you are. You've done me no wrong. You know that because it was because of a physical infirmity that I first announced the gospel to you. Though my conditions put you to the test, you did not did not scorn or despise me, but welcomed me as an angel of God, as Christ Jesus. What has become of the goodwill you felt? For I testify that, had it been possible, you would have torn out your eyes and given them to me. Have I now become your enemy by telling you the truth? They make much of you, but for no good purpose. They want to exclude you so that you may make much of them. It is good to be in much of a good purpose at all times, and not only when I am present with you. My little children, for whom I am again in the pain of childbirth until Christ is formed in you, I wish I were present with you now and could change my tone, for I am perplexed about you. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, Lord, I lift my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Blessed be the Lord of God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to his father Abraham to set us free from the hands of his enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was now in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. 
Now we come to our prayers of intercessions. Our Lord, as we start this new day in a world of turmoil, we ask for your peace upon the nations. We pray particularly for Ukraine and its peoples. Lord, bring your peace upon that nation. Bring the world leaders to a place of compromise and unity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our church and particular persecuted Christians. Again this day, bring your revival upon their uh, country so that they, they may be free to worship you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those that are sick in mind, body and spirit this morning. Lord, bring your healing touch upon their lives and restore them in newness of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for ourselves. May we always be a beacon of light, love and joy to others. May we, by our actions and by words, show the true meaning of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The collect for today is as follows. God of peace, who gave us such grace by your servant Edward King, that whomever he met he drew to Christ. Fill us, we pray, with tender sympathy and joyful faith, that we also may win others to know the love that passes knowledge. Through him who is the shepherd and guardian of our souls, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. See you soon.